Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? <coughs> uh, this your Rogue Reporter, LC the One, baby. LC the One, to be exact, that is, aka Illmatic124. And not the motherfucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jerseys on the back of my motherfucking chair at the crib. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang and my LC crew. Hey, what's going on out there in the level? Y'all listen to me, but. Uh, real quick, man. Because <coughs> I got a dash. Uh, I just listened to Stephen A. Smith on call on this show, and uh, someone called in. Uh, I guess one of the, one of his uh, constituents, and he was uh, talking about Luka Doncic, and he was saying that uh, 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 he should be in in the discussion right now for the MVP candidate <coughs> for the NBA 2019-2020 season. Now, uh, I would agree, man, because, uh, like I said, uh, I just picked up on Luca, and uh, like I said last year, he was a rookie, and all the stuff I seen last year in highlight reels was, you know, him being perceived as a dirty player, because that's all I really seen. I seen some good moments, too, but everybody was caught up in the Zion hype. It was caught up in a LeBron James hype because he went to LA and they kind of overshadowed uh, his entrance into the NBA. And then uh, a few other people that you know stole his glory and stuff, man, uh, for the rookie of the year thing. Now, uh, Stephen A. Smith was saying that, yeah, Luka Dons is nice, man. And Atlanta made a mistake. By trading up and letting Dallas swap, and now they have a potential Hall of Famer on their roster. All right, now uh, he said Trey Young can ball. Now I'm a Trey Young fan. Y'all know I know I, I mess with Trey heavy, man, and uh, he calls on or what? I'm gonna keep it PC because I'm in a break room. But uh, yeah, Trey Young is a baller, man, and uh, he definitely is. He definitely right now is a superstar. But Luka Doncic, man, the first with the first ten games of the season, man, this dude they hit about four triple doubles, five, six triple doubles already, and this is a se- a second year player, man. He a sophomore in the NBA playing with some of the marquee players right now, James Harden, LeBron James, you see what happened when he played against LeBron, it was the same type of thing, man, it was a buzzer beater, it was a thriller, Uh, when he played against James Harden a few nights ago, what he did to James Harden was incredible, now, like I said, my brother put me up on this little fella, and my brother in jail, and they get a lot, they know a lot, because they don't got nowhere to go, so he get a lot of uh, statistical information. And I didn't know the young fella was playing in Europe like that, man, as a, a teenager, you know. This dude, 15, 16 years old, playing with grown grown men. So, him coming to the NBA, man, you seeing that. And then it's like they got a different skill set in Europe. They play different, man. You know, uh, they play, they, they really focus on skills. And me being a baller, ex-basketball player, but still I play. You know, that's all we really focused on in the 90s with skills. We had Michael Jordan. He was <clears throat> by far one of the greatest I have ever seen, you know, running like uh, plays, you know, situations and scenarios. and things. But uh, this young fella, man, he coming from uh, a different type of style of basketball. And uh, we have seen that, you know, particular style been used in the NBA for years like Madame Ginobili he introduced the Euro step you know it's a lot of things that you know they do in Europe that we don't do over here in the States but uh this young cat man he he's special man I would agree with Stephen A. Smith this young fella man he gonna be around for a minute and uh at 6'5 what he's 6'5 6'6 uh he can do it all man 
and uh, he impressed me that the other night when I seen him. Um, his highlight, and he was going off, man. It was he just made it look so easy, you know. And as a shooter, I was a shooter, you know. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to get a, a good shot for yourself, man. It's all about spacing, and then you got to be quick, you know, on the ball, you know, especially if you're shooting, if you're a shooting guard. But he a point guard, and uh, I was like five seven. I was a shooting guard my whole career, and. Uh, you only got 24 seconds to make a shot. And people don't understand that, man. And now the game is faster, it's quicker. You got bigger players, stronger players, more athletic players. And uh, this dude is measuring up to all of them, man. And they successful. Now, Mark Cuban, man, he got another good one, man. He had Steve Nash, Dirk Nowinski. Uh, uh, he had Karan Butler. He had a whole bunch of good players, man. Uh, Michael Finley. But this dude, man, he gonna be. I think he gonna be the greatest of all. But I gotta get back upstairs, man. This should roll and pull the LC the one, baby. LC the one to be exact as You keep it up, young fella. And you know I will be watching your ass. Oh, excuse me. I will be watching yourself, your butt. My mom should let the man church now. I'm gone. Ah, I fooled you, see, I, hey, I, I was coming right back, man, I was just playing, man, hey, man, you know I have to show Lucas some love, man, for real, for real, man, for right up and down, but, uh, y'all got to think about it like this, man, you know, in the Euro League, man, it's, it's totally different, okay, they got their own set of rules over there, you know, that every player, they, they got to, uh, you know, uh, uh, adjust to, especially if you're from the States, and same thing, so, but I think it's more free, uh, it's more loosely over there, because when my homie Big Paul McPherson went over there to that to that side to to the Euro League, he was doing a lot of stuff I had never seen. For like he had threw the ball from the three point line off the backboard, ran the car. But that's some stuff that they do in the NBA as well. But I'm just saying, man, uh, it's a different swag over there. Same thing over here. So it's like when players come from over there to over here. You know, it seems like they adjust pretty good because the main thing they can do is shoot. That's the number one thing they can shoot. They shoot really good, okay? And now it's like since we have had, like, uh, the international phase, well, integration uh, over the last decade or so, 15 years, uh, it has made the the shooting percentages go up even higher. You know, and now players are shooting from a lot of – a long range of depth because I think over there they don't have a three point line. I think they, they don't have a three point line in the Euro Leagues over there. If you notice, if they playing, you know, they really, it's like it's back in the 60s and stuff, 50s over here when they was playing over here back in the 50s and 60s with no three point shot. So they taking long, deep range threes. You know, what we know as threes or shots. So. You know, when I seen Luca playing the other night, and, you know, the way he was just moving, man, it's like, you know, he's so smooth. You know, it's like his skill set is, uh, you know, especially for him to be that age, 20 years old, and he playing with these elite players, man, it's, it's phenomenal, man, you know. So, yeah, man, uh, Luca Don is a special, special individual, uh, multi-talented you know, in a lot of different areas, you know, you know, he can rebound, shoot the ball, and this is early in his, early in his career, okay, he kind of reminded me of James Harden, and James Harden is another one of them type of players too, like, you know, his skill set is different, like, he can go play in the Euro League right now, because, you know, uh, you know, he's just showing innovation, you know, in basketball, you know, especially over here in the NBA, you know, like the step back move, he innovated that, you know, and you know he he she's showing that the uh, showing like uh, uh, showing a different style of the step, the the step move, you know, uh, you know when you take three steps, you know, and you know it's like man, it's it's legal, you know, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be some more players that you know innovate the game even more further, you know as. We continue to watch, and the NBA continues to grow, and then, you know, 
uh, be successful worldwide. We're gonna see because that's what that's what that's that's what's going on. The NBA has now opened up to the big stage, the big market, and now it's a global entity, and it's like in every country almost all across the across across the world. So it's like, man, the NBA is doing good, man. Shout out to the NBA, man. You know, for integrating themselves and marketing and promoting themselves and. And it all it's a credit to the players that they didn't hit over these years, man. Michael Jordan, Larry Birds, Dr. J's, the Havacheks, the Jerry Wests and all them Chamberlains and stuff, man. They influence basketball all over the world. So yeah. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. Hey, this show this show Rover Porter, L C the one baby. L C the one to be exact that is. A K A Illmatic one two four. And not the mother sucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm up jersey is right over there on the back of my mother sucker chair of the crib. I'm pointing south. Like all of a sudden, keep it pimping and avoid slipping because they will get your mother sucking ass if you slip on a mother sucking banana pill. You dig what I'm talking about, man? Like all of a sudden, man, touch the rep, God. We got for believe. Shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang, my LC Crew. I need y'all to like this video, share this video, comment on this video, man. Most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man, and turn the notification bell button on to get more exclusive dope content from Pimp Play Games House all about magic. And like all of a sudden, man, touch the rep, God. We're going to five, four, a tree, a two, or one. Church. And I was showing some love. That's what the title of this video, video was about, partially. Showing Lucas some love and Trey Young is not Luka Donish. You dig?